Hello and welcome to Saucy Cat. My name is Connor and today I have a special episode for you. We're going to capture all the flavors of summer and get a good buzz going with some amazing cocktails. So let's dive right in. Let's get this party started with a hurricane based off the cocktail from Neely's Bar in New Orleans. We're going to fill our shaker with ice and add in one and a half ounce orange juice, one and a half ounce light rum, one and a half ounce dark rum, and one and a half ounce passion fruit puree. Not gonna lie, the passion fruit puree was a little bit of a tougher ingredient to come by, but it's totally worth it for this cocktail. We'll finish up this recipe with three quarter ounce grenadine and three quarter ounce lime juice. Give that a good shake and preferably serve in a hurricane glass, but I couldn't find one. Garnish with a cherry, orange, and of course, a tiny umbrella. The hurricane is a delicious fruit punchy kind of drink. This one's dangerous because it's so good you might forget there's liquor in it. This next one is requested by one of our Saucy fans who wanted to see my take on a sex on the beach. In Saucy Cat theme, I'm gonna call this one Belly Rub on the Beach. Let's fill our shaker up with ice and get the juice out of the way. Add two ounces of orange juice and two ounces of cranberry juice. Now for the liquor. Add in one ounce of white rum and one ounce peach schnapps. Give it all a good shake, pour it into your glass of choice, and finally add a little bit of grenadine to your glass. Garnish this bad boy with a cherry and keep those tiny umbrellas out because we are certainly going to use some more. This classic summer drink is a fruity, easy to drink cocktail with a hint of tartness. A belly rub on a beach is always a great way to end a hot day. A good friend of mine taught me this next one and it is probably the most refreshing cocktail I've ever had. So get ready for a mint cucumber refresher. Grab your shaker and add in a quarter ounce of simple syrup, along with a couple of lime wedges and a few pieces of fresh cucumber. Muddle that up for around 30 seconds and top off the rest of the cup with ice. Now add in one ounce of lemon sour and one ounce lime sour, along with two ounces of gin. Toss in a couple sprigs of fresh mint leaves and give that all a good shave. Pour that in your glass and top it off the rest of the way with some ginger beer. Garnish with a fresh lime wheel and enjoy. This is the most refreshing cocktail I can think of. The flavors from the mint, lime, and cucumber come together perfectly to give you something cool on a hot summer day. This next cocktail is my grandma's go-to drink for whenever we're out, a stunningly beautiful Blue Hawaiian. Fill your glass with ice and add in two ounces of pineapple juice and one half ounce lemon juice. Now let's get this party started with one and a half ounces of coconut rum and one ounce white rum. Lastly, for that beautiful blue color, we're going to add in two ounces of blue caracal. Give that a good shake, pour and garnish with a cherry, pineapple chunk, and of course, that tiny umbrella. This drink has so many delicious tropical flavors that all come together. The coconut, pineapple, and orange flavors all fuse to an amazing cocktail that is beautiful to look at. This last one has a little bit of explaining to do. While I was out shopping, I came across this amazing glass with a glass shark in it. There's no way I could see something this cool without having to buy it. And so I came up with a cocktail specifically for this glass. So be careful, there's blood in the water. Fill your glass with ice and we're gonna make some delicious ocean water for our shark by adding three ounces of lemon lime soda, one half ounce coconut rum, one ounce triple sec, and one ounce blue caraco. We're gonna give this one a very good stir so the soda doesn't get too bubbly and explode on us and strain the mix into your glass. This has given us that classic Jaws look already, but watch out, we're gonna add a little grenadine to the mix. And with that, it looks like our shark had a good meal. This drink, well, of course being a little bit ridiculous, is fantastic. It is a super sweet cocktail, and as a bonus, we have a cool little scene playing out for us in the glass. Well, there you have it. That is five delicious summer cocktails bound to get your party started. Let me know if there's any recipes you'd like to see in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time on Saucy Cat. One and a half ounce light rum, one and a half ounce dark rum, and one and a half ounce passion fruit puree. <laughs> and two ounces of passion fruit. Passion fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. And two ounces of passion fruit. Blah, blah. Passion fruit puree. I think you said flute that time. Flute. Passion fruit puree. Okay. Not gonna lie, the passion fruit puree was a. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>